with a knife so the lakshmi episode is not over see last um, shivaratri uh, thousands of people generally in tiruvannamalai shivaratri will not be much crowded like kartika divam strangely formerly i thought oh shivaratri will be very crowded first my going to tiruvannamalai was on a shivaratri day so that day also it was not much crowded in those days but later on now recently every day is a crowded day so this shivaratri was also fully crowded so we few of us with some people singing akshara manamalai were going round so we went to ramana ashram and after doing our namaskaram to bhagwan when we came out so see ashram is fully crowded one ashram dog somehow marked us and along with us it followed the entire giri pradakshin wherever we sit and sing he will also sit quietly very dignified way in a distance he will sit and we will start he will start no confusion no getting mixed up with other people uh, not Uh, somebody tried to give him something to eat that also he was not taking his smaran was putting something into his mouth no um, um someone else suresh suresh was doing that putting it in his mouth that's all so he went round the entire hill and when we reached ashram he entered ashram and went it said and this is not the first time we don't know whether the same dog it is done with many other devotees before also so the phenomenon con- continues i will tell you one more story one devotee is still there in tirunelveli basi in his house there was a peacock and that peacock was called murugan they they named it as murugan and uh, be- people will come to that house give no he liked very much that pavulamalli flower so that he will eat very tasty that was his delicious food so i have, they have taken even photo of myself giving him pavulamalli flower so that he will eat and one day uh, this devotee came to my house and told swami was he looked very worried i was about to go somewhere for a talk morning he arrived that was not the time when he has to come he came and said swami murugan is behaving strangely he is attacking people newcomers and he looks somehow affected what to do people are telling we should go and uh, uh, leave him somewhere in the forest so what should what can i do i have no idea about that so when we went to ashram i simply told maniyanna was there i told maniyanna what to do because he knows the nature of all this peacock monkeys everything so i told him this peacock is behaving strangely then maniyanna said uh, we will send some ashram workers to his house with a big net because it is not difficult to handle a peacock when it is started behaving like this so we will bring the peacock to ashram so two workers went from ashram with a net and you know what happened when they went there the peacock by itself came and sat inside the net and they brought it that brought him to ashram and left it with other peacocks and the thing is next day that peacock was inside bhagwan samadhi the video is there somewhere it must be there because on that day full day it was inside samadhi it was sitting in the round sill and devotees who went round they used to touch it everything it stayed a full day inside bhagwan samadhi because he decided to come there after uh, a few days he dropped his body perhaps 
so the phenomenon continues see it is a jiva which wants to go there it is not the body whether it is a peacock whether it is a monkey whether it is a cow whether it is any other creature in valmiki ramayana rama tells lakshmana about jatayu sarvatra khalu drishyante sadhavo dharmacharina shuraha sharanyaha saumitre tiryagyoni gateshwapi even animals other creatures also there are mahatmas so to see the inner being and the strange behavior of such beings you know they all have that seed of liberation in them everyone is carrying that seed of mukti bija it is there when the time is ripe enough for that seed to sprout that being will move see in north india there was a saint gondavalekar maharaj in maharashtra with with him i heard a dog was there it used to fast on ekadashi we human beings are not doing it has its own samskara was there so bhagwan with bhagwan one dog was there it used to always he used to sit only on a ochre robe he will sit before bhagwan they will put a ochre robe on that kashaya vastram only he will sit and he will not eat before bhagwan has touched that people have tried giving him some sweet he will not eat if bhagwan eats a little bit then he will eat and one day another dog came outside it started barking from inside the old hall bhagwan said kanna taranda thane theriyirudhu kanna moodu bhagwan said because you are opening your eyes you are seeing the other close your eyes and instantaneously that dog closed its eyes they were all they all came there to be with bhagwan a crow a deer monkey many many creatures they used to visit a white peacock so many of them were close with him and this is not a story that we can enjoy this demonstrates the state of a mukta a jivan mukta an enlightened being the thing that the upanishad says that he looks at everyone as the atma it is not an poetical idea it is not something which you can philosophize think about have purva paksha and siddhant it is something which you can see directly for that you have to see a mukta purusha where the entire vishwam etra vishwam bhavatye kanidam entire universe is one no difference at all no bheda buddhi at all their vedanta becomes bhedanta 